Let's do several variation problems. A varies directly as x can be modeled by the equation. So whenever you see A varies directly, so varies directly, that would mean A equals k times x. Because it's directly, so it's just k times x. If it's inversely, it's k over x. So directly is just k times the variable. So we're looking for A equals kx. And there it is. K is called the constant of variation or the constant of proportionality. So we're looking for one of those two choices. So constant of variation. It's really easy to pick constant of direct variation, but that's the incorrect answer, okay? It's just always constant of variation. Let's try it. Good stuff. Let's see what the next one is. Y varies directly as the nth power of x. So again, the key word is directly. So it just means equals k times the nth power of x. That's k x to the n. Let's see if we have that. Yep, there it is, k x to the n. Final check. Yay, good stuff. Y varies inversely as j. So the key word is inversely. So that means it's going to be k over j. So k divided by j. So when you see inversely, you're always going to get a fraction. You're basically always going to divide by whatever is here. So it'll be k divided by j. And that's one of the choices. That's choice B. Y varies directly as x and inversely as z. Okay, so directly as x means kx. So directly as x means kx. Inversely as z means you divide by z. So kx over z. kx over z. Let's see if that's one of the choices. Yep, it's this one here. kx over z. Final check. Let's do one more. R varies jointly as s and v. So when you see jointly, it's really just direct, except you have two variables. So varies jointly is k and then the variables s, v. So k, s, v. And that's one of the choices. Final check. And that's it. I hope this video made sense.